morning. Today we're heading into the future to glimpse at what curriculum, instruction, and assessment will look like in a fully digital age. I'm Jer Confrey, and this is Maitel Shaw. The three pillars of our work are working with engaging student problems, seeing student, leveraging student ideas to inform instruction, and elevating students as partners in guiding their own learning. It takes an interdisciplinary team to do the kind of work we do. We have a psychometrician, we have learning scientists, software engineers, UX designers, and undergraduate and graduate students working with us. We work with teachers working on the notion of curricular coherence in a time when there is a lot of digital use of materials, and we work with students to try and help them know what they know and what they need to know. We invented something called a digital learning system, which is called MathMapper, and it's consisting of these different parts of integrated work that come together to form this kind of system. You notice we have a map on the left instead of a table of contents that invites students to explore mathematical space, and on the right we have a diagnostic assessment system where students can learn precisely what it is they need to know in order to move forward in their work. This whole system is unique because it's based on the concept of learning trajectories which I've pioneered in my own research, which is about bringing, what students bring to instruction. We know we want them to go to target concepts, but we actually know a lot about the obstacles and landmarks that they need to engage with along the way. As she shows you, one size does not fit all. <laughs> not with clothes, not with curriculum. So our goal is to support different kinds of curriculum, but make sure we come along with our assessments to ensure that students, all students, are having an opportunity to learn. We use a methodology from software technology called Agile Methodologies, in which we start with our theories, we build and design our systems, and we constantly iterate and try them. Uh, we are constantly running design studies, small ones in our lab, and larger ones out there with our partners. Our partners are across the state of North Carolina as well as in New Jersey, and we couldn't do this work without them. Um, we actually have this working in schools. We've run about 20,000 tests, and um, it allows us to uh, learn what they're doing. In fact, they often innovate, and we learn from them in that process. This is Map Mapper, and when you come in, the first thing that happens is you can see nine big ideas. Nine big ideas. Instead of having people teach standard by standard, which is incoherent and too small and fragmented, they work towards these nine big ideas, go down to these clusters, and all the way down to this construct. When they open up the construct, they see, teachers and students can see the learning trajectory for each of those constructs, which articulates what we know from research about how these kids go from learning beginnings part to more sophisticated part. On the left over there, they, the Common Core standards open, so the schools know, in fact, that this is aligned with Common Core. At the end of the process of the work they're doing, they take these diagnostic tests, which are offered, our teachers told us they are offering about two-thirds of the way through curriculum so they can be used formatively to make sure the kids are understanding. So it's eight to ten items, it takes about 20 minutes, but the items are written to generate student thinking. The students get the data back in real time, and you can see here, this student, it's the same as the map, this student has two areas where they need to be focusing their work, and it tells them precisely where that is, and two areas that they are doing very well on in terms of the overall, and then it's scaled to give us their overall score using different psychometric models. Our teachers get the data back in the form of heat maps. And heat maps are these maps, orange is incorrect, blue is correct, light blue is partially correct. This is a teacher teaching other teachers to use the maps. And they use them to see which topics they need to reteach, when they can form groups to identify what those kids need, and when individual students need help. One of the biggest things that we focus on is to help teachers go over these data with their students and use them effectively because they still are sort of in the mode of regular tests where they're just going over the answers and we're teaching them how to actually leverage that student thinking, let the kids talk out loud, let them form in groups and have that describe what happens. So Thank when you. working with MathMapper, partner teachers are beginning to see the real value in a more student-centered approach. 
they're beginning to recognize the connections between the learning trajectories and the standards as, as they align their curriculum to our, our learning map and connecting student results on diagnostic assessments to the learning trajectories as well. Students are using the shared language of the learning map to discuss their progress with their peers as well as the teachers, and they're being increasingly specific in the way they talk about the topics that they need help on and what they need to work on. And they're really taking ownership of their own learning. Right off the bat, 70% of our students say that they find the diagnostic reports useful. These data are important to our research team because we need to really hone in on the remaining 30% to find out what they need. We're constantly working on or, uh, striving to make the system more useful for more and more kids. Another way we're addressing the challenge that one size does not fit all is through our digital learning systems in built scheduler, where teachers can drag and order big ideas in math, allocate appropriate time intervals, assign um, curriculum, and even tests. Um, what's neat about this feature is that they're achieving customization within the framework of the standards. These screen grads show curriculum alignment work we did with our high poverty school in Harnett County, North Carolina. And notice the frequent sw switching of topics that was there before the alignment work was done. One of our teachers commented on how her curriculum went from chaos to calm. Sure. This work is the most compelling work I've done in my career. It makes student thinking accessible to teachers in a systematic way. It helps students know how to move forward successfully. And it is a research tool in its own right in that it can allow us to find and understand better how mathematics classrooms can operate to help our students and also what the kind of context we can have for moving from this to generate the next round of innovations that can sit on top of the system. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.